Welcome to another episode of Top Gear GTA. In other words, a Top Gear version for GTA. Uh, today we're talking about the classic car of GTA 4, a blister compact, which is literally a compact blister, blisteringly fast car. We're not talk talking something that can outdo the Ferrari of this game, or a hypercar. It is just a fast car that can take corners and is small enough to actually get into spaces that even police cars, I would say, cannot get through. Now, there are cars the same width as this in the game, but not the same length. It is small enough to get around the corners. With a la longer car, it'll it is a lot more difficult to get around the corners at speed. And also this car has a manageable acceleration and a manageable speed. I do feel that the Blister Compact is a classic for GTA 4. That, I have recently learned, is going to be in GTA 5. Well, it, I, have, I know it is in GTA 5, but I haven't seen it in the PC version because I don't have the PC version of it. Now, the Blister Compact is a very removable car, as you're seeing right now. And it takes a lot of punishment. I was ragging it around. I am ragging around on this. And I'm not really caring what I hit. But if you do care about what you hit, you can take corners at some interesting speeds. And you can take time spaces with ease, like you're seeing right now. I am sort of screwing this up because I accidentally clicked on the wrong uh, I used the handbrake. But you can take tight corners like I just did at a reasonable speed that could mean that you could get away from the cops a little bit quicker than you could in a muscle car and take tight spaces like that with ease. This is speculation on my part, but I do believe the blister compound is basically a Japanese vehicle with a two-liter engine. Uh, I have taken off the top of the Blister Compact in uh, another video, which I forgot when I extended to it, but it doesn't matter. And I saw something that literally looked like a amalgamation of an Evo engine and a uh, Nissan Skyline. No, super. No, one of the two. Two liter engine that is highly tuned and highly responsive. Now we're not saying that this car is going to outrun the fastest car in the game. I don't think that would be possible. But I do feel that the Blister Compact is a car that can outrun the cops with ease. It can go through a lot of things before it even gets tired. And it got it's got the manoeuvrability to make 180 turns, as you see right there, and make sharp turns using the handbrake that other cars, which are larger, you not get a complete 180. You get a, you get half a 180. No, 360, not a 180. No, I was right the first time. Duh. Sorry. Uh, but the Blister Compact has a lot of features that are really good. Okay, it's only a two-seater, but it's a nippy two-seater. Do try the Blister Compact, and I recommend it wholeheartedly. Now, coming up right now is the actual way that this car handles the circular motion and how you can make tight turns with this car and it will not really harm the car at all. This was me screwing about though and I completely turned it. But this car is good. It is good. I spent five minutes in this car before it went belly up. Enjoy the Blister Compact. It's a car you should try. 
Thinking about it, the Blister Compact is apparently in GTA 5, and you can mod it. I can't wait to get my mitts on that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.